so why am I starting a YouTube now? I've been doing a lot of self-reflection and soul-searching lately, and I want to remember this time in my life. I grew up in New York, but I live in L.A. I'm what they call the Oreo generation, where your kids still need you and your parents are getting older. So I've been going back and forth a lot, and I guess you could say I'm bicoastal. There's been a buzz recently about starting a YouTube when you're 37. When I was 37, I had my first child. Now she's 17 years old. So for the past 17 years, I've pretty much been a stay-at-home mom. Even though I feel like it's one of the most important jobs we have to be present for our children so they grow up to feel whole, it's just not something you can put on your resume. Second to that is being an artist. And unless you have some major success, it's a bit frowned on. So I've always felt as a bit of an outcast. But I'm not the first in my family to struggle with artists slash work-life balance. I'm actually the third generation that I know of. The pressure to have a thriving career and to be a great mom in America is real. So like I said, I grew up in New York City and I got into a lot of trouble as a teenager. But I didn't start out as a troublemaker. I've always been a bit of an introvert, waiting, looking, observing, and hiding behind the camera. I considered it a kind of superpower. I got good at putting on the invisibility cloak. It served me, especially when I was doing documentary photography. I've had a camera as long as I can remember. My first camera was a Bell and Howell. Now I'm really dating myself. <laughs> I've been taking pictures since I was in fifth grade and in a way documenting my life in order to keep track of things, to validate my experiences. Hi, my name is Geraldine. I was a I was a fan of Instagram until I wasn't. As a photographer, I felt like I really had to be on Instagram and it's changed. Instagram, you've changed. So there's that. I really wanted more connection. I felt like the people that I connected with initially on Instagram it was really hard to find them. Whenever I've thought about doing filmmaking in the past, I always considered doing it with a team of people. And when I've had the opportunity to work on set, I really enjoyed that process and kind of knowing that each one of us played a role and we're all working together for a common theme. And uh, there was something really exciting about that collaboration. And also like all of the, each piece kind of makes up the whole. So that will be different for me. And I really consider myself a beginner and where film is concerned. And I'm like not only a beginner in cinematography, but also in editing and um, in sound. And what else? Um, pretty much all the parts of filmmaking I'm new to. So I'm not new to the camera, lighting, and editing. So there's a lot of moving parts. 
Oh, right, and there's storytelling. Yeah. I like problem solving, and so that's a good thing because there's just like a lot of stuff to work through, and um, that's okay. I, I enjoy that, um, and the timeline will be new for me, so there's like a lot of newness, and I'm excited. I'm excited to challenge myself and take on this new adventure and um, learn new things. Also a challenge for me personally is I'm really used to being behind the camera, not in front of the camera. So I feel like this aspect will also be, I don't have a stylist. <laughs> I think I need to like up my makeup game and so yeah so like there is a lot to be overwhelmed by but i'm just gonna put one step in front of the other and see what i can create i've been searching for a circle of creators or artists for quite a few years now. So when I received a quick pro title uh, that was basically a, a rubric rated in five different categories of technical skills, I was so uh, excited to be included in this group of amazingly talented women photographers. Also, I feel like I might need to get like multiple of the same type of shirt because I've been wearing this shirt for like three days now while well, I've been shooting this video. So I think it might be time to do the laundry. <laughs> there are moments in life to be impulsive and spontaneous. <laughs> and when you're driving, it's not one of them. So <clears throat> I'm on my way to Sammy's to get a filter LA so this is what I want to say I really admire um, some of the vloggers who are in New York and just embracing life and um, even though they might not be originally from New York they're just like really you know after like I know there's all these different ideas about like how long you have to live in New York to be considered a New Yorker. I don't really think my opinion, and trust me, there's a lot of opinions, I'm sure, about this topic, but I don't really think it's um, how long you're living there. I think it's like how committed you are. Immersing yourself. I, w I was inspired. I'm, I'm over here on the West Coast. I'm not originally from LA and I was inspired to like immerse myself in the LA life while I'm here. So that is my declaration. I'm not going to be able to help comparing it to New York. Okay, I'm here at Sammy's. Um, lots of parking here. Okay, Sammy's is like a legit camera store. They have lighting, all kinds of equipment, brands. I think they might even have like a rental department. It's small. It's smaller than B&H, but I bet they, have, they, they probably have everything you could need. And they also have like a used department if you're looking to get used equipment. So that's great. I'm really glad that they have like a pro place and it's in Pasadena, so that's super convenient for me. I'm looking for two things. 
a filter for my 35 millimeter and a little pouch for one of my lenses so I don't bang it around because sometimes that happens in my life. Hi. Hi. Do you mind being on YouTube? Uh, sure. Okay. What's up? So, it's going to be a set 52 millimeter. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Can we put it on now? Yeah. Thank you. How much is it? Uh, let's take Before it you open it, right? That's probably a good question. <laughs> yeah. So, these are uh, 37 dollars Okay, perfect. Yeah. Do you want me to pay you now? Sure. Okay. Okay, okay. So this is going to be 4188 okay. after tax. Thank you. It's real. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure, like, it's hard to make these. I know, right? They, With, like, the, like. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hi. Do you guys have a bathroom here? Yeah, the first door on the right. Oh, cool. Down the hallway. Thank you. Don't want, okay. Mm. The director of the program at Bard College and my guidance counselor would say to me when I would ask him, like, what we would have discussions about, what I should photograph, and he would say, just photograph where like where your feet are like just photograph your everyday about 30 minutes from Hollywood right I just put in like a location that everyone can like <laughs> signify as downtown LA we're still trying to figure out what where downtown is exactly or if anyone knows and wants to put it in the comments I'm open to <laughs> that suggestion they definitely have like a lot of sort of earth friendly businesses and uh, they, this one uses single-use plastics and laundry, like refillables. Really nice. Um, so, and then they have more like franchise, you know, businesses like Sweet Greens. Okay, someone's waiting for the spot, so I'm gonna pull out. You can have it. Yeah, I mean, LA and New York, they're kind of both hustle towns. They're just different. They're different. Um...
compared to that's better or has more experience. And there's also beginners who are just getting started on the journey. But as I define my next chapter, I want to live to work, not work to live. Doing things that really matter to me, that feel authentic and add meaning to my life.